Now before I start this, I, I always want to make sure about the masking tape and the paper or the plastic, make sure that the masking tape was still sticking over there before it was loose a little bit and I had to put some more tape. The cat got in here last night or this morning and she was inside this room she, and then somehow she forgot how she made it in here and, and she, she raced up and she clawed that a little bit and she stuck her head out of there. Momi saw her stuck the, her head out of there and then she jumped through. So when I got up, I had to, I had to fix that. I always want to make sure that this dust isn't going to go anywhere. And I've been going back and forth through here. So now I want to pull that over there and I just use my, my, uh, my knee pad so I don't have to tape this last little bit. And that's just holding this plastic. Make sure it's pulled over a little bit before I start, right? Okay, so one way or another, me, myself, and I are going to get this out of here. And I'm first going to try uh, my putty knife. Now this is a really super stiff putty knife, unlike my other, unlike my other one, see? See how flexible that is? Well this one, I can't really do that. It's got an end. This was a really expensive one years ago before I used it for other things. Look at that, it used to be straight. It used to be straight as that one. I got, I got this one just a cheapo because this one got rounded or corners and stuff. And I use this, I use this one for all kinds of stuff. Not, not for putting or cleaning on inside corners, I'll use this one. And see this one, this one still looks brand new yet I've had it. I've had it for, oh I don't know, nine months or so, because I don't use it very often, okay? So now, I'm just hoping I can get this loose all the way around. And I think I'll be in the queue. And it's gonna take me a little bit of time to do that, and I'm hoping not to, not to crack off some of the porcelain, some of the cast iron, because my intent is to sell this on Craigslist. I actually put the listing up the other night hoping that somebody would want it and they could pick it up this weekend, let's say. And I may have to lower the price. I, I start at $225 for the sink and the garbage disposal. And the garbage disposal is in really good shape. And the sink's still in good shape. So, I didn't get any bites for the first couple uh, nights, and so I lowered it to 195. And if somebody offers me 150 or 125, I'll take it. I don't want to just throw it away. I'd rather have uh, somebody get the use out of it rather than throwing it in the trash, let's say. Okay, so, so far I've got it loose up to here, and I think I'm just gonna have to keep doing this, unfortunately all the way around because they've got they've got something underneath there see this tile's already loose this one but uh, I'm not going to pry on that I want to get this loose as a goose so I can figure out what to do next okay so I'm going to spend a few minutes ooh I don't know 10 15 minutes that's okay I can do it and so can you now see, up in the front, I had to go like that, each, each little bit, boom, boom, boom. But on the side, because I had enough room, I was able to get it in, you know, far enough. Now I can, now I can hang on to that and just hit it on the side, see? Because this is a stiff putty knife. It's my throwaway putty knife. And I did that all the way around this edge and the end, the other end, and now I have to do this back. So I'm gonna do this back and I want you to see, let's see if I can't get her. Hopefully I have enough room to, to hit my hammer. And I try not to start right on the corner, I did that on the other side and chipped it just a little. 
from getting it in there, but that's okay. Whoever, if somebody were to, to install this again, more than likely they're going to put some mastic uh, caulking underneath it as well as caulk the whole thing. I, I'm surprised they didn't caulk this, uh, but uh, because they had black tile, you can't really see the line. Anyways, if it was white tile or something like that, yeah, they would have caulked it or else you would have seen a nice black line all the way around it. Okay. I've got just enough room. See there's a spot right there. And I don't think they uh they did a continuous line all the way around. Just in a couple spots, it felt kind of easy as I went. I'm just wanting to make sure it's loose before I start jerking on it, right? Oh, there's a spot. Get it in there, and it goes some more. So I couldn't really do that out on that front edge very well without hitting the other pieces. And uh, well, it's not taking me as long as I thought it was going to initially. And like I say, you could, you could uh, take the sink out first, but Okay, this is the other option you got. Had I taken the sink out, I could have put a piece of plywood over that opening or something to protect the inside of the cabinet. Let's say. Okay. I think, I think. Look at that. You see? I think the whole thing's loose now. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the front. I gotta be careful not to fall into that plastic. Yeah, see? I'm loose. I'm loose as a goose. And you're gonna have you're gonna have some of your residue debris fall into the cabinet. That's why that's why I'm protecting it. See? Yeah, it's loose. Everything is loose. Boy, that thing's gonna be heavy. That is going to be one heavy mother. And I'm hoping. See, it's just gonna be awkward for me to do it on my own. But I'm gonna make the stab at it. I'm going to have to get my psyche up and, you know, try not to overdo things. Last thing you want to do is hurt yourself, strain yourself, because who's going to finish the job if you do that, right? Well, I'm thinking if I can raise the back and tilt it up, then I'll be able to somehow muscle this thing down to the ground. I've got two layers. I've got two layers right there. I can take my uh, a knee pad. I've got another knee pad. I'll, go, I'll grab the other knee pad, set that down, so that when I set this down, I'll try to make sure that I don't uh, do it in such a way to where I gouge the floor or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the stab at it. We'll try that next. <laughs> You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my craft paper across here. So I got to do that. And out in the garage, I found a piece of old carpet. And I've got an old um, towel and another uh, knee pad. So I'm going to get that stuff all situated and um, put this craft paper back in and get my psyche up to get this sink out of here. That's going to be heavy. Now you know what? I'm going to have to be real strategic about this since I'm, since I'm here by myself, right? 
because if I flip it up on the edge, look, I hardly have any edge to work with now, do I? And um, chances are, if I try to lift out on the edge and if I get it slightly off, the whole thing's gonna cattywampus and crash down and could break out the bottom of the cabinet or something. So I'm gonna have to think about this for a minute. And I think what, I, what, what I'm gonna wanna do is uh, clean this out of here on both sides, let's say, and then um, maybe take my two by fours and um, take that and push it in underneath all the way tight so, so it's virtually right up next to there. Do you see what I mean? And um, put one on the other side, screw it down so it doesn't move or something and uh, figure this out, okay? I'm gonna work on this a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't wanna be just like a bowl in a china shop. Lift that up, have it slide just barely and then have it fall down underneath inside the cabinet. Even if I take the front and slide the front back, I, I could get it off the front and then it could hit no, no backing on the sides and the whole thing could come crashing down in there, okay? Before you start doing things, especially heavy things, think about it, especially if you're working on your own. Now, if I had somebody here helping me, we'd grab it on both ends, lift it up, but I'm here by myself, you know? So I've got to work strategically.